I'll go. Hi, this is Music and Message, and this is Sleep in Their Eyes. How should we walk? Oh, stumbling about, hiding in bottles of doubt. Is that the way? Is that the way? There's so much life past the night, yeah, that's the way. Oh, that's the way. Not gonna be sad Not gonna be mad If you wanna stay asleep Cause you turn about with the almighty shout Then you'll arise Well, no one Oh, no one Is gonna get wise With sleep in those eyes How should we walk? How should we walk? We'll all run in the streets Then in back seats We'll pick in those locks Is that the way? Is that the way? All oh, who Stay clean, you know what I mean Who does it all right? Well, anyway Not gonna be sad Not gonna be mad No, if you wanna stay asleep Cause you turn about with the almighty shout Then you'll arise I said no Gonna get wise with sleep in those eyes. We all sat down at communion. Well, some of us ate and drank more than our share, but the Lord brings us back oh in union will there be a reward over there over there over No, 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 no. 
but it's gonna get wise with sleep in those eyes. All right, so I heard people do not go to the light because they want to stay, they clean want to stay in the dark. You know, they just go where they will. People just go where they will. And the only reason that those of us who have seen the light know the way is because most likely we've fallen. So to tell the truth, what we do is we tell the truth in love and keep walking and pointing, pointing above. I got a string that went off place. All right. So what? I haven't done it right? No, I haven't done it right. And you won't either. But there is one who did in the person of Jesus Christ who loved us and died for us. Then defeated death, rising from the grave in, in three days. There's nothing we can do to get there either. Just believe and turn and make your peace with God. And that's the way. And wake up. There has to be better ways of doing things. Listen to Paul on how we should walk. Furthermore, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that is, you received us how you ought to walk and please God, so we may abound more and more. For you know the commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus, that this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that everyone should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, and not in lust of concupiscence. Wherefore he saith, just scripture here, Awake that thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, Christ shall give you light. See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Wherefore be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess through this world. Is there any better way of doing things here? That's what we're talking about. Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart. That's that right there, that line right there, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. That, that verse right there seems to be the theme of what I'm doing here. Maybe you don't know that going forward is better, that giving your life to Christ and leaving that old way of life behind is much better. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is. Life is good. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and life, life more abundantly. And life is really good. It's truly by grace we are saved, by faith, not by works, or by or we'd be able to brag about getting there. And nobody's perfect, but there has to be a better way of doing things. You ever sat down at communion? You get one piece of bread and one drink from the vine, right? Well, we're all in this together, and that is Christ's body and blood. In that, in that, He said, "This is my body; it's broken for you, and this is my blood that is shed for remission of sins." And drinking unworthily, that's why some of us sleep or have passed away. No one does life completely right. Sin here is any God-given thing done in an ungodly way. I know this is difficult, but, and I, just, I didn't get this either. Now I do, as I'm older. I sure haven't done this right. You think we need a savior? I do. God have mercy. Don't you know there will be a reward for serving in the kingdom? We'll be rewarded in how we exercise our gifts given to us. I heard J. Vernon McGee say that, that this will determine our position in heaven. We're saved by a simple belief and faith in Christ, but Dr. McGee says our position in heaven will be based upon service and how we use those gifts. That's what I'm trying to do. Knowing that of the Lord, you shall receive the reward of inheritance. For you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 3.24 And no one gives up houses, land, sisters, brother, father, mother, or even a potential spouse for the kingdom and won't get it all back in this world and the one beyond, a hundredfold. God gives it all back and beyond through Jesus. Praise God. For believers who have ears to hear, no worries. Those believing loved ones that seem to be asleep, the Lord, the Lord will wake them up. Know how we know? Because most likely, for those of us that have seen the light, that's what's happened to us. Just keep telling the truth and walk in love. No one's getting wise with sleep in those eyes. And who has it all figured out? Only Jesus. 
Only Jesus. That is who wakes us from being spiritually asleep. Remember in the Garden of Gethsemane, he came, Jesus came back to find his disciples asleep, saying, couldn't you watch with me for an hour? Have mercy, Lord, and save us from a personal Garden of Gethsemane experience. That we don't have to go through such a thing. Only Jesus. Apostle Paul says, I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as those which have no hope. For if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which are also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive remain and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. That's First Thessalonians 4, 1 through 18. And of course, God promises that those who are asleep or who have gone to be with the Lord will meet us on the other side of this life. God will wake us up on the other side. So this verse has double meaning and thereby is doubly comforting. I'm praying for mercy and healing, true restoration of all that was lost and beyond, that we get good, satisfying sleep with our minds renewed and that the yoke is easy and the burden is light. As we serve, that we be kept from evil and pain and that our spiritual boundaries are widened in Jesus' name. It sound like a big request? Well, we have a big, big powerful, awesome God. Why not? I'm not gonna be sad. Not gonna be sad. Not gonna be mad. And if you want to stay asleep to turn about with the almighty shout, then you will rise. Well, no no one's gonna get wise with sleep in their eyes. No one's gonna get wise with sleep in their eyes. This has been Music and Message. Have a great week.